Well guys, finally here with Rayman Legends for the PS Vita. Uh, this game has officially come out for every platform you could think of. Uh, even 3DS, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, this is the PS Vita version. Of course, the, there is going to be a, a, a digital copy of this game later on. On the PSN store, still don't know the price or how big it's gonna be, but I'll just go ahead and leave it in my in my descriptions. Um, of course, the PS Vita version has um, some levels that are exclusively for the PS Vita. Uh, this is gonna be uh, like you see right here. This is gonna be a two-player in co-op available here. You know, you could play with two persons that has a PlayStation Vita. Uh, it says rock the party with crazy musical levels. These levels are awesome. These They look very nice. And also here it says a high definition platforming experience. One player, ad hoc players, two players. And memory, only 2048 kilobytes. That's not bad. And touch screen uses the touch front and rear if I'm not mistaken. And it has motion sensor. Okay, that's cool. I bet those are for those exclusive uh, levels for the PS Vita because the game itself, I don't think it's going to use a um, uh, motion level. Well, maybe. Maybe they could be. Um, one thing, there is a bad news um, that has been rolling out since this morning or late last night. Um, supposedly, the, the PS Vita version is missing 28 invasion levels. Now, I don't know what are those invasion levels, but I heard that those invasion levels are uh, one of the most challenging levels uh, and that you can find on other platforms like on the Wii U and the PS3 and, and, and 360, but um, supposedly it has been taken out from the PlayStation Vita version. Now that's 28 levels right there, so that sounds a lot. Now I don't know how big this game is. Look at see right here, Raymond Legends, and there's nothing here. Okay, so this is the game right here. Let's go ahead and see if there's an update. Oh, yes, look at that. There is an update so fast. There's a patch already. Let's see what it says. It says uh, improve Kung Fu gameplay and fix minor issues. Okay, so that's good. Um, one thing that I hope is that um, the levels that are missing actually gets uh, added later on via a patch. Uh, that might be possible, but um, I don't really know the reason why those levels are missing. So I don't know if the PS Vita is not capable of, of playing those, or maybe they didn't fit in the card. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of kind of weird, kind of weird. But still, luckily, you know, luckily the PS Vita also has levels that it's not you're not gonna find on the PlayStation Three, and you're not gonna find uh, on other platforms. Uh, that right there is a little bit uh, good news. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I could take a snapshot. Yeah, could take a snapshot there too. Okay, now that the game has load, let's go ahead and check out the trophies. Okay, so here's the trophies. Um, there is 38 trophies available in this game. And, of course, it has a platinum trophy. Very cool. And let's see the trophy. It says, win all creatures. Finish your first back to origins painting. Okay, uh, I heard this game actually has a couple levels from origins, which is very cool. Uh, here, uh, there's a goal that says gather one million lums to unlock the final hero. Cool. Wow, that's going to be a lot of gameplay there. One millions. Uh, complete any 20,000 lums. Okay. Not bad. Get rid of 100 enemies with a flying punch. That should be easy. Destroy five rubber ducks <laughs> sent by Sharkman. That should be easy. So that's it, 38 trophies, including platinum. Let's go back to the game. Okay, let's go ahead and press any button over here. We got new game and hosting. You can see right here, you got an option to hosting on or off. Join game, host settings, enable Facebook. So host settings here, you can go ahead and set um, ad hoc or LAN. Said ad hoc connect directly to another PlayStation Vita, no access point needed. Over here says in LAN, wait, don't, don't in LAN says connect to any other PlayStation Vita system through a wireless access point through a wire through a router. 
cool, not bad. Let's go ahead back and let's go ahead and start a new game. Let's see if it has good audio here. Cutscene looks pretty nice, nice and sharp and very colorful. <laughs> A grade of dreams is in danger, my friend. Go quickly, wake up our legendary heroes. Okay, cool. Now this right here is just the same way the demo for the PlayStation 3 started. This scene looks very nice. Looks ba looks a little bit like 3D-ish. <laughs> okay, let's tap. Boom. What the hell up? <laughs> This game starts with the game. There's no menu yet. So the first menu you get it when you finish this initial level. Oh crap, I was supposed to get that. I'm missing. <laughs> well, I missed a couple gnomes there. So happy I can play this game here on the video. Oh, awesome. Okay, so here let's see how this works. Tap the touch screen to release. Okay. Playing as Mercy? Now that's weird. On the PlayStation, on the demo that I was playing, I didn't, I didn't see this being played like that. So he's basically running on itself. I'm not controlling him, which is kind of weird because uh, in the console, you're actually controlling Rayman. Tight. 
Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom this out a little bit. So we can see. <laughs> okay. Now though these movements, these mo movements totally took me out of surprise. That I was not expecting. I was not expecting these movements. I guess it actually uses the uh, PlayStation Vita sensors a lot, which I was not expecting. Okay. Okay, so like you saw there, um, right after I I activated this little guy, I uh, your character Murphy was started playing on its own. You know, this kind of weird, kind of weird because I'm not used to playing the game like that. I played the demo so many times and I was not used to that. Okay. Yeah, of course. So of course anytime you go, the great thing here is that anytime you go back to the level and try to make a better score or get things that you never, that you missed. Over here you got Creepy Castle. You got Enchanted Forest, you got Ropes Course, Quicksand, there's a couple levels here, How to Shoot Your Dragon, <laughs> breathing, breathing Fire, and Rock Castle, ah oh, man I was hoping that was unlocked so I could show that, I really really like that rock, um, castle rock, pretty cool. So over here, main gallery, let me go here. Okay. Main gallery, you got a couple levels here too. You got a couple challenges there too. Kung Fu Foot. Uh, this, these are levels from Raymond Origins. Look at that, Origins, you can see it right there in the background. And this, if I'm not mistaken, let's go here. Try that. Yeah, you need another player to play with. Try hosting. Ah, oh, crap. So, like you see, I can't play this because you actually need another player to play this. Because right there, you actually have to score. It's like a soccer game. <laughs> uh, that kind of sucks, you know. I would have hoped for it to let you play against the CPU. It would have been nice to play against the CPU. That sucks. But that's what it is. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, so let's go ahead here in Heroes. 
Uh, this is where you change your characters. Like you see right here, this is here you can see all the characters right here and all you gotta do is jump to into one of our frames and it will automatically switch characters just like that and you can also go to the games and complete the other levels with any character that you choose which is very cool so let's go ahead here choose Raymond again there you go And of course, over here you got a lot more characters. And like you can see, I only have 455 looms. If I'm not mistaken, that's called looms. And like you see, there's a lot and lots and lots and lot more characters to unlock here. Look at that. Oh my god. Over 750,000. 1 million? What the hell? Who the hell is this? I can't see no name. You can't actually see any names here. So that's kind of. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> a million looms. So you need. Wow. Let's go back. So, not bad. That gives you a lot of playtime. And that's it, guys. Uh, um, over here, if you tap right here, it will take you to leaderboard. My stuff, so you click on my stuff, you can see the status of your points, your trophies, um, bronze, blah 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 blah. My friends, statistics, you can go here, statistics, see all the, all the challenges completed, and everything. Cool, my friends, uh, right now, Ubisoft's um, servers are not available. Uh, lucky tickets, here you can scratch. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> wow, so I guess that randomly, randomly you're gonna see it says you don't have any lucky ticket. You can win them by collecting enough looms in any given event. Oh, that's cool, that's very cool. So look, you see right there, I had, I had one lucky ticket, not bad. And over here, of course you go back and forth to the level. Very cool. I just discovered that lucky ticket. And that's it, guys. Uh, for now, this is all I'm going to record on this video. Later on, I will be uploading more videos, of course. And especially the music musical videos. I actually want to play those levels. They look very cool. And they will be very nice for the videos. So, if you guys want to see anything specific, just let me know. And I'll try to upload it. Okay, guys? See you next time.